Okay, so uh, I think I found out the issue with uh, creating the mesh on the um, valve body. So the problem is when this was imported in through an IGES file, it generated a series of body sheets, really surfaces, right? They call it a body sheet in NX, but it's a surface, right? Now, if you take all these surfaces and join them together, it forms the bounding surface for the volume of the, the, the body of the valve that, that in fact you want to mesh. So if you just bring this as is into advanced simulation, basically it's just seeing the surfaces and not the body. So the way to go about doing this is to join all the surfaces together or sew them into one watertight bounding surface and then that uh, defines a body which you can then mesh. So to do that, you know, open up the part file. Under insert, combine, there is an option called sew. This allows you to, as you can see here, combine sheets of bodies by sewing common edges into a, a common bounding surface, okay? So it asks you to select a target and a tool. It really doesn't matter. Pick one surface for the target. Uh, the, uh, I picked the top flange, but it really doesn't matter. And then just window pick everything else to be the tool. I'm not sure exactly the implications of target versus tool, uh, but hit OK. And when that operation's done, you can see down here there is a sewn body. And the sewn body, if you highlight it or activate it, it's the full bounded surface. Okay? Now you have something that you can, in fact, generate a mesh on. Okay. So now if we go into advanced simulation and we make a new FEA in simulation and now you want to pick since it's a little confused part you're actually going to have to explicitly pick the body because there's several bodies here so let's pick the solid body so make sure when you click it with one click you get everything right not just like one little surface okay hit okay now it makes uh, the simulation file, the FEM file, the idealized part file. So if we go into the FEM file, make display part or whatever you want to call it. So now that the FEM file is active, you should have this icon up here for generating a 3D tetrahedral mesh. Do that, and now you should be able to select the polygon body. That's the one that was brought into the FEA simulation. And hit OK. And we should get a mesh. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. So there's a the mesh. Maybe, maybe not the best mesh, but that's a mesh. Okay? So that's how you do it.